Hey guys, it's Lex. What's up? What's happening? I wanted to hop on here today and talk to you about one of my favorite brow products of all time. This guy saves me a lot, well this gal, saves me a lot of time when I'm getting ready and when I'm running late and I wanted to introduce you to her even though you've probably met her already. Our Busy Gal Brow. We call it the Busy Gal Brow because it brings your brows from zero to 100 real quick. It's perfect for beginners. So for those of you guys that aren't really familiar with filling in your brows and you don't really have a lot of time to do it, this is the perfect product for you or even for people that are really experienced with brows and just want something that's gonna give them the coverage in the areas that they need it and is also gonna hold their brows in place all day. This is gonna be perfect for you. So let's dive into application and talking a little bit about this baby. So let's go. So one of the number one things that I like to tell people about this product is that not only is it vegan, but it's also waterproof, which hello, in places where I live, like Florida, where I'm always in the water or it's very hot, humid, it's been really hard for me to find a brow product that is not only vegan and cruelty free but it's also waterproof. <laughs> I kind of like to think of this as like a three-in-one brow product versus like just a brow gel. So it's gonna sculpt your brows, it's also gonna hold them in place, and going to add subtle color in seconds. So it's gonna make your job really easy, really quick. It's just perfect. I love it. So I like to start kind of like in the center of the brow brushing outwards and I kind of like to somewhat underline the brow so as you guys can see I'm kind of aiming for the bottom part of my brow just kind of really getting that shape that I want and I don't really like to fill my brows in really bold normally I literally just fill in the sparse areas like the front of my brow and like the tail of my brow so I already underlined this part and then I'm gonna go for the tail so I'm also gonna underline the tail a little and then build from there. And then I'm going to work into the middle of the brow. And I'm kind of going in like an upward stroke. I don't like to stroke like this. I like to just hold it really nice like this. And I'm just doing very light strokes. It's totally cool if you do have your strokes, you're just gonna get a little bit more of an opaque coverage. But in this case, I want more of like a natural defined brow. So that's what I'm doing. And then I'm gonna go for the front of the brow. I kind of like to start after these fluffy hairs here. And then I like to use the excess product in the front. And right now, this is when I'm gonna start brushing upwards in like an upward motion. Because my brows are naturally very thick already, I don't normally take a lot of time to fill my brows in because I feel like they kind of just naturally fill themselves in with a little bit of brow gel and Busy Gal. So this is normally what I do because I find that not only it gives me that really nice fluffy brow, but it's gonna hold my brows in place. It's gonna give it a little bit of color in the areas that I need it, but it's also gonna look subtle, which is what I like. Let's do the other eyebrow. And just like my other brow, I like to underline. And then I like to work towards the tail of the brow. I feel like my tail is like where I really need it. That's where I see the biggest difference. And then I go for the front. And this is when I'll flip the spoolie like this versus like this. So I'll hold it like that just really up against the base of my brow and then just kind of really light strokes brushing the hairs upwards I kind of really dig the messy fluffy brow so that's what I go for most of the time it all depends on your preference I just like when the hairs are all fluffed up in the front brows done and for people like me who are always running late, you know, on the reg, because you guys already know I suck at, you know, being on time to anything, this really, really helps my makeup application. So yeah, 
I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video talking about our Busy Gal Tinted Brow Gel. I loved being able to educate you guys on it a little bit and also explain to you how I like to use it specifically. Make sure to comment down below your thoughts on this video and if you've tried Busy Gal Brow, how you loved it, because I know you already loved it. I know you didn't like it. I know you loved it. So yeah, but it was fun doing this video for you guys and I'll see you later. Bye, Tartlets.